Man, whenever I take this out and show clients, I pull this thing out, they're the most impressed with this piece of gear right here. Because they're like, oh, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> it's a... Uh, are you already filming? In a world where nuclear war has begun, vampires fought back in super real 3D. So Facebook has its own video player and so does YouTube. And when you upload them separately, you're getting two different play counts for your video. And you might want to just get all your plays into one place. And unfortunately, it just doesn't really work that way. This is the real question. YouTube versus Facebook's platform. Facebook's platform. And between those two things, which one should you do? And I say, and there's no perfect answer to this, and anyone that tells you that there's a definite answer to this is lying to you. They're full of themselves because there's not a definite answer to this. I say don't put them on just one, put them on both. You just kind of have to because if you're just trying to get your stuff out there, if you're trying to be acknowledged in the world, you want maximum exposure and you're just gonna get more exposure between using both platforms. And you might say, well, why don't I just put it on YouTube and share it on Facebook? And the reality is, is that Facebook has gotten pitiful, intentionally pitiful about sharing YouTube links in comparison to videos that are uploaded on its own platform. So if you put up a video on Facebook and it's on their platform and you put a link to YouTube as a separate post, the Facebook one's gonna have, I mean, tenfold more plays. And uh, that's just the way it works with this. So that, that is unfortunate, but that's what's up. And the advantage to having it on YouTube is that for archival purposes, you can get on YouTube and you can look up a video that's been out for a long time and you can find it. Whereas on Facebook, over the course of time, it's just gonna be harder and harder to find that video unless they go directly to your Facebook page and find it in your videos. So it's the retrieval aspect and archival aspect of Facebook is just nowhere near as good as YouTube. Some dispute has come up about Facebook doing auto plays and that that's not real plays. Well, I will say yes. Uh, Auto plays is kind of cheating a bit to up their play count so that people can feel like they're getting more of their Facebook plays. But the bottom line is, is that those are, those are ads running on people's pages left and right that otherwise wouldn't be there with moving video playing through it. And that's a commercial for whether it's your band or it's your commercial. And so you should want that on people's page so that you catch their eye and they check it out. And if they check it out, then you gotta play. And the only way that those plays end up turning into the massive amount that they do over the course of time is if people share them. And people aren't sharing them if they aren't watching them. So, in my opinion, that kind of nixes that concept. For instance, like the Bandit video on Facebook. Yeah. Honey, hush. On YouTube, it's still at four and a half million. Now, it wouldn't have generated the plays on Facebook had people not been sharing it. So even though some of those plays are auto plays, you can't get the play count up to that without it being shared and actually watched. So that's my opinion on it. Do what you want to, but I do think upload to all of it because you know back in the day, people were really concerned with copyright and not revealing their their music or something getting stolen or you know this is my thing or that thing. And it's just, it's a different era and the reality is there's just too much stuff out there for people to check out. All you can do is try to get somebody to check out what you've got. And people have too many options to just copy your stuff. And if they copy the one thing and you're a one-hit wonder, then, then shame on you. Because you shouldn't be a one-hit wonder. You should keep making great products and you should keep making great videos and music. And that's a true artist. That's somebody that would sustain anyway. I, that's my opinion on it. So keep making great stuff. Get it out there as much as possible. And one day, if you're like awesome and you're backed by a huge company and all that, you can have them be very particular about who gets a hold of it and shares it and how it's distributed. But for now, if you're on your own, you're independent, you're a starting business, you're, you're a musician, etc., you gotta just do everything you can to put it out there and hope that people can come across it. And the more it's shared, the more it's playing on people's pages in any fashion or form, then you have an opportunity to be acknowledged for existing. So, good luck with that. Do what you want to, and uh, take care. Movie voice.